Betty screams to give you the strength to knock the two infected away, but still more time between you and your wife. Hello there everyone, and welcome. We are going to try March of the Living one more time in Derek's story. And the reason being is that the last time we actually ended the game and completed it because we unlocked the next character in the game. But sadly, our wife, who is infected, Betty, died when we tried to get to her um, in kind of like a story. We, we didn't do anything like play the game. We just read lines and then made choices. And I just kept going for her to like get her out of the claws of some zombies that kept her like... <laughs> Well, held her back, and then when I finally reached her, I got bit too, and we both died together, which was fucking sad. And I want to see if there's something else I can do. Sadly, the only option, except for saving my wife, or trying to save my wife, which, well, didn't succeed, is to leave her behind. So, that's gonna be something I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna feel really fucking bad about it, but that's gonna be something. But we are gonna go over to this lab. Checkpoint here that we reached the last time too, but before we do that Just want to eat as we travel then we can go there and let's see what ah, okay Well time for a good old fight then Maybe the last fight if this story doesn't pan out differently when we make the different choices Only time will tell We're gonna have Derek with the shotgun firmly loaded pointing towards these guys as soon as he reaches that location and when he does that he's gonna turn around and shoot them in the face then we are gonna have our trusty Brody rifle dude snipe out that guy up there and our two girls with guns are gonna take out those two C's coming that way from and hopefully you guys will have a pretty good t oh okay Derek you are just giving them shit there just one more solid bullet and they are out of there. Ah, uh, we got a shotgun. Well, let's just pick it up. And maybe we can use it at some point. Are you sure this is the only place where you can get the supplies you need? You ask Bill as you enter the city. Sadly, yes. This, this lab was working on a cure long before the outbreak. And I think I finally figured what they were doing wrong. I need this sample to confirm my hypothesis. Nothing else will work. Before the outbreak? Before the outbreak. You mean... You people knew this was coming and did nothing. Well, we, we're working on a cure, Bill Stammers. What the hell caused this if you knew about it beforehand? Bill doesn't answer the question. He just points to a building that's been see that's seen better days. There is the place. I carefully enter the building. The lab is in shambles. Most of the windows are broken, as are many of the lights and computers. Tables are overturned, and you see the broken glass where beakers and files of unknown substances crash to the floor. But surprisingly, the lights had haven't been smashed as still on. You don't see a single corpse, but there are bloodstains in various patterns, including many that look like as though someone was dragged across the floor. What we need is stored in a room with heightened security, so it should still be there. This lab is off the grid, thanks to some solar arrays on the roof, and as long as the electricity works, the security should as well. Follow Bill. You reach the safe room, and Bill enters the security code. He glances around the room and says, It's all here, help me pack it in. I'm not feeling so well, Betty says to you, that's a wife. Take a break, dear, we won't be long. You grab scientific instruments you don't recognize, and test tubes with samples of various substances in them, and begin to carefully put them into your bag. Help Bill to gather the equipment he needs. You clearly have all the items in Bill's list in your bag when suddenly, the lights go out. Yeah, shit's about to go down. A few seconds later, red emergency lights flicker on and the siren starts blaring. That's the best siren I could do, I hope. <laughs> that works out. You said this lab had its own power grid. What's going on? I don't know, some sort of electrical failure, Bill suggests. The security system is set to trigger if the main power goes out while the safe room is being accessed. Hurry up and finish gathering the needed equipment. There, we have everything, I think, Bill says. You think? You start, but before you can inquire further, you hear a shout from outside the room. Derek! Betty cries as a screamer jump on her with more watchers closely following behind. The alarmed master approach until the last moment. Betty's shout is more effective grab onto her, and others pour into the safe room. We need to get out, Bill shouts. There's an emergency exit on this side. So we got one option, help Betty. We got two, uh, number two option, leave Betty behind. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna keep helping Betty until she says herself, it's okay, you can let go. Which is fucking sad still, but then I know I'm not just like, uh, fuck you, Betty, and then 
<laughs> dash out of there. I don't know if I got too close and when she tells me it's okay, I can let go and just escape. It's already too late, but that's the choice I'm gonna have to do. Help it, because just leaving now, I'd feel fucking bad. I'd feel fucking bad. I don't even think I would want to do the next story because I would be scared the same thing would happen. And I would feel really fucking bad. Did I underline that? I think I underlined that. Help Betty. And we lost 1 HP. You don't even consider the option of leaving. Betty is worth a thousand lives to you. As you make your way toward her, a rotter claws at your arm. But you barely notice it as you shove it out of the way and smash its skull. <laughs> uh, more rotters stumble into your path. Keep fighting your way to Betty. Leave Betty behind. Keep fighting. Two more warders latch onto you, but you don't even feel it as they dig into your flesh. Your vision is blurry and the only sense that seems to be working is your hearing. Betty screams to give you the strength to knock the two infected away, <laughs> but still more stand between you and your wife. You are so close, don't leave Betty behind, leave Betty behind. You are so close. No, Derek, please, just leave me. Here's the, here's the point. Betty cries in a voice of utter anguish as you kill yet another brother. Through the horde, your eyes meet Betty's and she mouths, I love you. Tears streaming down your cheeks. One, gather your strength and push back anything in your way. That was the option we took in the last video. Two, you did everything you could. Let's pick number two. You glance back one last time. But you can't see Betty anywhere in the crowd. You lead through the emergency exit. Find Bill waiting for you outside. He doesn't ask about Betty. Instead, he just says, If I'm going to make the cure, I need you to help me. Crack. You interrupt him again, this time with your fist. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> you leave him behind, unconscious, as you stumble across the street. Your vision is blurred by tears, and the only thing you can hear is the distant echo of Betty's screams. Oh, fuck. What's life worth without her, you think? Then your mind wanders towards the shotgun you were carrying. Oh, am I gonna kill myself? The only left option is close. Maybe. Yeah. Holy shit. There is no way to get out of this. That is the end of Derek's story. A fucking sad ending. He kills himself. He hims <laughs> well, just one one of him. He kills himself, not himself. Oh. Okay. Well, that became a short video too, but that was Derek's story. Really different from the two previous ones, Greg's and Anna's. Um, you can find them in the description just below. I'll post them there. Uh, wow. Wow is all I really got to say. March of the Living is an awesome game and uh, seeing Derek's story being so sad and not have a happy ending because both Greg and Anna's had very happy end or partially happy endings that uh, really uh, it baffles me and <laughs> I don't know it feels so wrong. It really feels so wrong. I thought that there was like I know Betty was gonna die in this one if we left but then maybe just maybe Derek would go on and maybe help find a cure or something um, but no no, he just shot himself, and I mean, if you really love someone that you 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 you, you feel really strongly for, that you love, suicide is something that a lot of people actually consider, and it's understandable because if you shared your entire life with this person and you truly love them, like they're a part of you, it's like you lost a part of you, and you just don't feel like the same person anymore, and then killing yourself is an option that you consider. I understand that. It's never an option you should take, of course. If you ever feel like that in any sort of way, find someone to talk to that you trust and let them help you. That's the only way that you can fix whatever you feel is the problem. So please remember that. Whoa, the screen got bright all of a sudden. Thank you everyone for watching um, this really, really sad episode. That was the end of Derek's story, but the next one is going to be Blake. And as a little teaser, Blake worked as a private security contractor for 15 years dealing with missions the government didn't want to be directly associated with. Holy shit. Now that the world has changed and wars are no longer fought, he offered his services to protect a group of helpless people. Okay, so now we have this sort of agent security thing that is gonna, well kick ass because he's an expert in both pistol and rifle and an intermediate shotgun and he's got endurance he starts out with an automatic rifle haven't seen that before combat knife first aid kit bandage and a flashlight holy shit this dude's are gonna be awesome and i can't wait to see what his story has to offer and hopefully it'll have kind of a better more just a little bit more happier ending than this one had but most importantly thank you everyone for watching that was just a little teaser to black story and until i see you in the next video or at some other point 
have a good one and if you haven't subscribed yet and liked this video it'd be awesome if you could subscribe but most importantly thanks for watching bye bye have a good one